ABC Kindred Teeth presents Radiant Child, the story of young artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. Somewhere in Brooklyn between hearts that thump, double dutch, and double dutch is when you swing jump ropes in two different directions. One turns this way and one turns this way and you have to jump between them. And hopscotch, which looks like that. And salty mouths that slurp sweet ice. A little boy dreams of being a famous artist. Jean-Michel, I bet. In his house, you can tell a serious artist dwells or lives as he sits at a table with pencils scattered everywhere jean michel draws from morning until night with a serious face amid all around him a storm of papers papers are all over the place he refuses to sleep until he has created a masterpiece a very good picture at night, images enchant, filled with happiness, Jean-Michel's mind, and he wakes from his dreams to add one more line. So sometimes he wakes up from a dream and he goes and does a little bit of painting on his pictures. His drawings are not neat or clean, nor does he color inside the lines. They are sloppy, ugly, and sometimes weird, but somehow still beautiful. So he draws in a very different way than a lot of people, and it looks messy, but it really is very pretty as well. His art comes from his mother, Matilda, a Puerto Rican woman who designs and sews, cooks and cleans, and makes the house look like a stylish magazine. So she makes the house look very fancy. But most important, she lies on the floor and draws with Jean-Michel on his father's old work papers. So his father has some work, and on the back it's blank, and so he colors on his old papers. From her, he learns that art is not only in the poetry books she reads to him, and poetry is words that talk about feelings and ideas, often with rhyming, or in the theaters, like where they do plays, and museums they visit. Art is in the street games of little children, in our style, a way of doing something, and the words that we speak. It is how the messy patchwork of the city, a number of different pictures on paper, creates new meaning for ordinary things. So he draws a bunch of different things and it gives it new meaning or it means new things. While visiting the museum, they look at his favorite works of art. Reading the story behind each artist, the story about the artist. Reading the story behind each work, that's the painting. This is how Jean-Michel learns what it means to be a famous artist. This picture is by Pablo Picasso. It's called Guernica. It's a very, very big picture. It is now in Madrid, Spain. Back at home, he creates art on the floor as his father, Gerard, plays jazz records. Mama Matilda cooks arroz con pollo, chicken with rice, and calls Jean-Michel mi amor, my love. The energy and life of the city can be felt in each line of his drawings. So he's really able to kind of capture the way that the city feels. As time goes by, Jean-Michel learns that art has a healing, helping him to get better, power. After a car accident, he is scared and confused. See, he has a sling on his arm. He must have hurt his arm. Matilde gives him a book to calm his fears. 
It is filled with pictures of bones, skulls, and other body parts. Jean-Michel draws from it until he knows it all by heart. He is no longer afraid. So his mother gives him a book that has all sorts of pictures of people's bones in it so that he can draw the bones and then he doesn't feel so scared about breaking his arm. Back at home, Jean-Michel's body heals, but his heart breaks. His mother's mind is not well, and the family breaks, which means they have to separate. She no longer lies on the floor and draws with Jean-Michel, but sits by the window singing only to birds. Jean-Michel is confused and filled with a terrible blues, feeling sad, when Matilde can no longer live at home. So she has to go someplace that they'll take care of her because she is very, very sick. Her head hurts a lot. He tries drawing the terrible out of his blues or sadness, but things are not the same. As Jean-Michel grows older, he visits his mother when he can, always bringing his artwork to show, telling her that one day it will be in a museum when I am a famous artist. A teenager now, Jean-Michel decides, Papa, I will be very, very famous one day. With a sly, or sneaky, look, a twinkle in his eye, eyes looking happy, Jean-Michel leaves Brooklyn, which is near New York City, for New York City. The Lower East Side, a concrete jungle, a big city where it's hard to live, where only the tough survive. So he's going to the big city to become a famous artist. During the day, dressed in a green jumpsuit, splattered with paint, Jean-Michel stays with friends. Sleeping on couches and floors, leaving a barrage, a lot of collages, pictures with many things on them, and poem-filled papers everywhere he goes. So, he doesn't have much money because he spends his time becoming a great artist artist so he just sleeps with friends wherever they have a little space for him to lay down at night jean michel spray paints the walls downtown with poems and drawings that catch the eye of artists gallery goers people go to places where art is shown and sometimes sold and passerby people walking by under his art, he signs the name Samo instead of Jean-Michel. Everybody wants to know, who is Samo? Samo moves from street corners to art gallery walls with powerful color composition and line. And color composition is using different colors to make a picture. Collaging and painting on anything he can find. His art is still not neat or clean and definitely not inside the lines, but somehow still beautiful. So he went from painting outside on the walls to inside because people liked what he drew. With his magical charm, able to make others happy, Jean-Michel draws a crowd, which means people like to watch him. But when it's time to work, he prefers to be alone with the radio and TV on full blast. So it's really loud in there. Now in expensive suits splattered with paint because he has a lot of money, he flips through stacks of magazines and open books and paints into the night and sometimes for days at a time while sounds and images jump into his head. Jean-Michel, an artist among artists, which means he's really famous and really good, never doubts one line creating from a soundtrack that is all his own. People describe him as radiant, shining brightly, wild, a genius child, a very smart person, 
but in his heart he is king, so he draws crowns for himself and others he admires or looks up to. A grown man now with the art world in his hands, which means everybody loves him, Jean-Michel still visits his mother when he can. And at his most important shows, above all the critics, fans, and artists he admires, the place of honor is his mother's, a queen on a throne. He is now a famous artist. More about Jean-Michel Basquiat. Jean-Michel Basquiat was born on December 22, 1960 and grew up in Brooklyn, New York. His father was from Haiti and his mother's family was from Puerto Rico, living in a trilingual household, which means people spoke three different languages. Jean-Michel spoke French, Spanish, and English. While his father had some artistic skill, it was Jean-Michel's mother, Matilde, who drew with him and took him to museums. He particularly liked seeing the painting called Guernica by Pablo Picasso in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. It now hangs in the Museo Reina Sofia in Madrid, Spain. Some people think that Guernica shows the suffering of people and animals when warplanes bombed the village of Guernica, Spain during the Spanish Civil War. It is one of the most famous anti-war paintings ever created, a form of activism through art and a piece that shows the power of an artist's voice, which may have inspired young Jean-Michel. When he was about seven years old, Jean-Michel was hit by a car and badly injured. His mother gave him a copy of Gray's Anatomy, a book about bones, perhaps to help him understand what was happening inside his body as he recovered. This medical textbook became an important influence in his later work. That same year, Matilde began suffering from mental health issues and eventually left the family home, a difficult loss of an important daily role model for Jean-Michel. As he grew older, though, he visited his mother and showed her his artwork, which helped maintain their relationship. At age 17, Jean-Michel moved away from home. He sold postcards and t-shirts of his own designs to support himself, and he used whatever he could find as a canvas, something to draw on. His first recognized work was a graffiti series, created with his friend Al Diaz, starting in 1977, tagged with the name Samo. The traditional art world was looking for something new, modern, and connected to street culture, and Basquiat arrived at the perfect time. His first public exhibition was in the Times Square show in 1980, and his first solo show was in Italy in 1981, the year he sold his first painting which would be followed by many others. He also met and became friends with other famous artists of the time period like Andy Warhol and Keith Haring. Basquiat lived an exhilarating life, but underneath the excitement of his success, he struggled with a drug addiction until his death on August 12, 1988, when he was only 27 years old. His paintings now sell for millions of dollars and are collected and displayed in museums all over the world, such as the Whitney Museum of American Art and the Brooklyn Museum.